news. I'm still Al E. Gator, and today, as promised, we are putting you in the spotlight. We had hundreds, no, thousands of entries with local news stories from your area. I'm very excited to see what amazing, weird, and wonderful things you came up with. So, let's head over to our first set of correspondents. Well, we are live at this amazing find at the base of the Mayan Temple in Mexico. Today, one of the archaeologists uncovered a rare, unusual find. First, our main story. Two days ago, a thief broke into the bathhouse and stole 16 bottles of oil. He was seen carrying a heavy bag. I'm Ben, and here's what's going on today in your area. Strange bones were discovered in Bridge North earlier this morning. Let's speak to local resident Ella, who, who was at the scene. Nearly two-thirds of the Amazon rainforest is found in Brazil. The Amazon is thought to have 2.5 million species of insects. More than half of those are living in the canopy. Now let us move on to some of our animals in the Amazon River. Our first creature is an amphibian. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a poison dart frog. Da, da, da. They can be found all over the Amazon rainforest. Where would we be without Roland Hill? Modern day postal service, especially in these COVID-19 times. Travel, a letter, a parcel, a name of flowers can be sent to cheer up loved ones we cannot go see. <laughs> about the poultry jumping spider. Over to you, Finlay. Hello everyone, this is the seven day long range weather forecast for England, Wales and Scotland by me, Riley Howells. Over the period of the coming week, we will see sunshine, clouds and rain. The sun will shine mainly in England around the Crane Arms area. Let's meet Sir David Attenborough's apprentice, Austin. Unfortunately, the homes of these great apes are being destroyed by deforestation to make way for the planting of palm oil trees. How was the race, Ken? It was a good race. It was very competitive. Eli Tomac almost overtook me, but hopefully I could be here next year. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for that news. Back to the studio. Thank you for that interesting news, Brandon. That's, that's all we have today. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Welcome back to Aubrey News. Thank you so much for all of your entries in the In The Spotlight feature. I'm sure we can all agree that we've learned some incredible facts from your local area. For now, I am Al E. Gator, reminding you to aspire, enjoy and achieve. <laughs>